Did you ever want to have really good skin? I grew up with eczema, so my whole life I always wanted to have really nice skin. I got eczema since I was eight and I used cortisone creams. Uh, like you know those ones that you can get over the counter? That was what my mom gave me, so I kind of just grew up using them and I always figured like one day my eczema was gonna go away. But in the meantime, I would just use these whenever I would have a breakout. And uh, you know, I used them pretty much religiously my whole life until one time. Uh, and this is the first time I had an experience with it that really changed everything. Uh, so let me tell you about it. I went on a trip and I was packing everything. I packed everything, but I forgot to pack my steroid creams. And I headed off for what was supposed to be the best trip of my life. And the first day I was fine, but the second day I broke out like super bad. I couldn't wear any of the cute clothes that I brought on vacation. I was miserable in the hotel with my terrible eczema. I was just flaring up and I had no steroid creams. And this was the first time I realized like, oh my goodness, if I don't do something about it, this is gonna be my life for the rest of my life. And I started to think like, wow, if this happens for like a day without steroid creams, does that mean that my skin is gonna be bad without it forever? Like, am I gonna have to use steroid cream all the time? And I was on vacation, so I had to go to the hospital. I went to a dermatologist, you know, I paid more than I should have. I got another steroid cream again, and it was just to fix the problem until I got home. And that was the first time that made me really realize like, oh, steroid creams, they don't really work. And if you've ever been using a steroid cream or a cortisone cream, and you have that feeling like, oh, I use it sometimes, but when I don't use it, my skin breaks out, it doesn't really work. Well, yes, steroid creams and cortisone creams, I am here to confirm that they don't really work. And honestly, you're not the only one. Like I've had that experience, other people have had that experience and comment below if you've had that experience too. Because I think a lot of us were told to use steroid creams. It's the first things they give you for eczema, but it doesn't really always work, right? So what does work? What gets you clear skin? That is what I was about to try to find out. So I started looking and I started seeing stories. Okay, stories of people who said that if you use steroid creams, and maybe you've seen this, okay, if you use steroid creams for a long time, they say that your skin can start to get permanently changed by the cortisone cream. And people talk about the side effects over like hundreds of comments. And some of them I started thinking like, maybe I'm having this myself. Some of the signs that you should stop steroid creams is like you try to stop them, but your skin gets more itchy, it gets more red, or you try to stop them and your skin just breaks out. So pretty much what I was trying to do. And that was a really difficult situation. Like I read steroid creams were bad. Okay, hundreds of people were saying they're bad, but I, I know I didn't want to use them forever, but when I tried to stop them, my eczema wouldn't go away. I didn't know what to use or what to do for it instead. Uh, so that's where I was and maybe you're like that now too. You're wondering like, what can I do? What are the other solutions? And I don't know if you've ever had that situation happen to you, but you know, it really sucks and probably you know how this feels, right? And so that's where I was. I was like, hopeless, what do I do? You know, I started researching about it and I found lots of different things and I was going to try to find what actually worked. Uh, so let me tell you about them. The first thing I tried, because I wanted to do something without the steroid creams, I tried something more natural. So I went around, I looked like, what are the natural remedies for eczema? Like, is it is it aloe vera? Is it coconut oil? You know, is it this expensive cream? And I started to spend money on buying different kinds of creams. Uh, I remember like one I bought, it was like literally, it was like this big. Um, and I spent $300 on it and I know it's a lot, right? But I was really desperate. I was like, maybe this is the miracle. You know, like this is gonna work. Um, turned out, spoiler alert, it wasn't. I was still getting those random breakouts, those little bumps that just pop up and they're super itchy and you can't help but scratch them. You know, those were the worst and I couldn't find anything to get rid of that. Uh, so, so after I tried, so steroid creams didn't work, natural creams didn't work, I started to ask myself, you know, if creams are not working, you know, all this stuff on the outside, maybe I need to try to start looking at other things that are different, like something that not everyone is looking at, like something that maybe isn't so obvious. And I started to really get into eczema and the skin, and I looked at it like, what is eczema? 
like where does it come from like why does it happen you know why do you randomly break out in these little bumps why do you have it and your friends don't you know why why do we have this and i started to ask myself these kind of questions and as i did i started to find the real answers and if you've ever had these questions too let me tell you what i found out because you deserve to know so what is eczema what i found out was that it was mostly a case where you have like dry or itchy skin but where it starts is actually underneath and it starts underneath your skin in something called inflammation and this inflammation it happens inside and it can happen because your general lifestyle is creating that inflammation so it could be something that you're reacting to like maybe you heard that eczema can happen after you're triggered by something uh, it can also happen by something that you're allergic to like something that you eat or something that you touch and i'll talk about it a bit all these things they can trigger those breakouts and basically the reason that we have eczema is because we have inflammation going on underneath and eventually it pushes out onto your skin. So, you know, the creams, they help us a little bit, you know, they can stop the inflammation on the outside, but you still have the inflammation coming from underneath and that's why it keeps happening. So if you ever wonder like, why does eczema happen? It's inflammation pushing from the inside to the top of your skin. And when I read that, I realized like, oh, it has nothing to do with the cream that I'm using. Like, okay, yes, creams help a little, but if you really want those bumps to stop, to stop coming out of your skin, and so that's my whole idea about eczema, like it flipped. I always thought it was a skin thing, but now I understood, oh, no, it's something that happens from inside. And here's a big question. What causes that inflammation? Uh, you might be wondering, like, is the inflammation from inside, right? Like, where does that come from? Uh, so there are so many different things that scientists see that could cause this inflammation. Like I said, a big one is allergies. So for some people, if you ever got eczema after you've touched something or you ate something or like in the air, like in springtime when there's lots of pollen, that could be something that triggers your eczema. Uh, for some people, their eczema is also triggered by environmental things like they're allergic to something that they touch, like heavy metals or harsh chemicals. And another one is with food. Like if you eat something and you get itchy and maybe you have it happen to you, like you eat like chili peppers or you eat citrus and you see like your skin kind of feels itchy or it breaks out. So that's a sign that some food could be a trigger for you. Uh, so the next thing I did is after I tried, you know, the steroid creams and natural creams, I was like, okay, I'm going to try to clean up my environment. Like I'm going to try to see if I'm allergic to anything, right? See like what could be triggering me. Uh, so that's when I got into the whole allergy and elimination diet thing. And I started to do a lot of those elimination plans. And basically, you get rid of a bunch of stuff. And you're like, is it me? You know, does this trigger me? And you probably see I even made videos about that. Um, but And it did show me some triggers I had. Uh, for me, I figured out I was sensitive to things like dairy and gluten and things um, also in my lotions and you know, stuff that had like a lot of harsh chemicals. Those were things that I was allergic to and I was triggered. And for a lot of people, like changing their environment or changing their food, it helps a lot. Uh, but for me, I still had some annoying bumps to get rid of and these were on my legs. So it was really, really bothering me. Like I couldn't wear like any of the clothes I wanted to wear. I didn't really have that clear skin, like where I felt confident and I wasn't gonna break out. If you're still watching this and you've also gotten to that point, you're like, okay, I tried the skincare. I tried the allergy thing. You know, I tried the diet thing. It still didn't work. Like, how can this actually work for me? Like, I want what you have. Like, I wanna get your skin too. Let me tell you, because I think you're gonna wanna hear about this. This is for you. Okay, so as I continued my journey, something that finally got rid of those last bumps, you know, the ones I had on my legs and my arms, the most stubborn ones I had for years since I was a child. What finally got rid of it was actually something to do with what I ate, but not in the way that I expected. Let me explain because this is what really cleared my skin over the years and what keeps it clear today. Uh, so you know how a lot of those people, they say that you have to stay away from this type of food and you don't eat it again and your eczema goes away. Or you've probably heard like, oh, as long as you don't touch that thing, you're going to be fine. Uh, well, there are some people saying that eczema is more than just an allergy. Uh, they were saying the reason that you cannot eat something and it makes you break out is because there's something wrong with the way that your body is processing the food. 
And what's really interesting to me is that they said, if you fix like that processing and your body becomes healthy enough, then you can eat whatever you want without breaking out. So you can eat dairy without breaking out. You can eat gluten without breaking out. You can have sugar, you can have ice cream, you can drink and your skin will stay clear. And basically eczema stops becoming such a huge deal in your life. Uh, so for me, having gone through, you know, steroid creams, the skincare, the allergy testing, elimination diets, I was like, this sounds great to me. <laughs> because, you know, at that time, my skin was a lot better, but I was still having breakouts and my skin was really slow to recover. I was tired, I was stressed out, and honestly, I felt really limited in what I could eat. So I was like, okay, you know, I made it this far. Maybe if I try to, you know, fix my body's processor, it will, you know, process food properly and process things properly and it won't affect my skin, which is what all of that research was pointing to. Uh, so this is really new. And if you're interested in that, let me tell you a bit more about it because that is what will help you. This is the key to clear your skin. And I'm gonna talk about this probably over my next videos because I think we really have to get into it. So. If you're new here and you don't know me, make sure that you sign up for my next videos. So what is the key to clear skin? So apparently scientists have been studying the connection between your immune system and your skin. And they say that your skin is like a side effect of what's happening inside your body. And they actually have studies showing that some people with eczema, they actually get eczema after being sick. Like they've never had it before, but they get sick and then they have it. So there is a huge connection between having these breakouts and something going wrong inside that has nothing really to do with allergies or creams. And especially if you're the kind of person like you've had eczema over a couple of years and like none of the things I talked about earlier helped you, then this could really be for you. Uh, because studies show that when your processor or what's like inside your body, what we call the gut and the immune system, when that has a problem, and it could be having a problem because it's not healthy enough to process the food you're eating, or it's not good enough to process the stress you're under, you know, that those are signs that you're having problems with that processor. And a lot of people believe that the body tells us it's a problem through our skin, through our breakouts. So you can think of your breakouts as a message from your body to say, hey, Something's going wrong inside. We got to work on it. Uh, so yeah, good news. Okay, great news. If you want to get rid of your eczema for good, there is a way to fix that processor. And it goes with fixing your immune system, including your gut, because that makes up for more than half of your immune system. The great news is once you fix that, a lot can be fixed. Like your life can be so much better. For me in the place I was in, I was ready to do this. So I started to focus on my gut's health and I started to, you know, try to rebalance that microbiome that they talk about. And it is true what scientists and researchers have been saying for years. Like if you balance things on the inside, it also balances things on the outside. Um, and if your immune system is good, your skin looks good, it looks clear. And if I told you, I would show you some pictures. Let me show you some pictures because you might be wondering, what does life look like after you heal that processor and you take care of what's inside? You heal your gut. Uh, so for me, the red itchy bumps finally went away. Uh, I could sleep at night. I felt better in my skin. And but what was really interesting to me was that I could even go back to a lot of foods that I couldn't have before and I could have them again now that everything was fixed and working well. I feel like my body is strong enough to process all this stuff and I finally have my life back. So if this is something you're looking into, especially if you have also tried a lot of stuff and it doesn't work for you, or you're like me, you wanna come back to real life, you're tired of those diets, you're tired of being restricted, you don't wanna feel that you have to do something extra or special for your skin, but you want clear skin, this is something that I believe can work really well for you. Uh, because I've seen people get results that are not just me. Uh, I have a program that I do with people to help them to go from eczema to flawless. And one girl who joined my program, she had eczema all over her legs. You know, her skin was super red for years. And after joining my program and focusing on her gut health, she was able to clear her skin in a couple of weeks. That's how powerful this way can be. And I believe it is the way to clear your skin. 
Uh, so if you're interested, I'm going to be posting more videos about that because I know with eczema, a lot of people do skincare and lotions, but not many people talk about this. And I think it's really special. I think it's what really helped. If you have eczema, I know it really sucks. I hope this video helped you. Let me know if gut health is something you've heard about before, if you want to try it out. If you have done my program and your skin has healed, let me know also. I really want to hear from you because it's been a while since I've been back and you know, you know my story. I want to know your story. So please leave me a comment below and let me know if this video helped you. If you are struggling with eczema right now and you want to know like how to do this whole process, I won't talk about it here, but I have a guide where I can explain more about it. And if you click on the link in my description under this video, I'll put it there and just click it there and I'll help you out. I gotta go, but I'm excited to be back. Honestly, I haven't really posted because after I got clear skin, I was just enjoying life. Like I struggled with eczema for so long that I never really got the chance to just like enjoy my skin and you know, feel just free. So that's kind of what I've been doing, but I wanted to come back on YouTube because I read like the other day, one of my comments and they said like, my skin is really bad. It's breaking out and watching your videos, you know, it gives me some hope. So I was like, I feel like coming back and sharing what I've learned so that other people can do it too. If you're interested in doing that with me, go click the link in my description because I actually want to help you out. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.